Greetings Game Changers, this is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich and we're looking at yet another one of my games on half a checkerboard. This is Revisio. It's a game you're looking at taking what if you were to take FLO or Reversi and use Custodial Capture. The games have Visio in them, V-I-C-I-O, or Visi in them somehow. We usually tie into this theme, so if you see another one, you'll see you're getting a game that's similar to a different one. I did Invisio, I believe, as an earlier one of the games in the Half Checkerboard series, and this is another one. This is a game where the object is to end up with the most amount of pieces on the board after one player, after the game ends. The game will end when somebody can't make a legal capture. Pieces start on the board and they start coming off. When you do a custodial setup with pieces, they end up. We do a custodial setup with the pieces. They'll end up, I mean, a custodial book ending. Like, for example, you see here and here, this is custodially trapped in the middle, and then it would come off the board. So that's what you're looking at there as far as this goes. And play is simple. You're going to shift one of your pieces to a space where it can make a capture. You make the capture, and then your opponent goes. And let me explain how the shift works. The whole entire row, imagine it's on a conveyor belt. So let's do one move in particular here. Let me do this. Let's say I'm going to move this one down here. I could shift left or right. Let's have, actually, you know what? Let's have white go first. I'm going to go western instead of eastern. Let's say I want this piece here to be the one I'm moving. See, I could end up shifting up here like that. And then... Let me back up. I'm going to actually end up doing this. This piece is going to shift up. These are going to wrap around. So let me move them down here. So this shifts up two. These two pieces go here. Note they shifted the order. And this piece that was behind goes there. White looks and will look to the side of it. If I shifted left and right, it looks up and down. And you have to be able to capture one at least one piece. By doing it here, I can either remove this piece or that piece there. So as the white player, we'll remove that. Now black can go. And black will shift everything down to. Do the following. Um, let me do the following. I'm going to move the same line just to show you how the impact was. Actually, these two will come off because he's gonna. I'm gonna shift this black piece down here too. Okay, these two are gonna come off. They're gonna wrap around. This black piece here, I'm going to do is I'm gonna shift it there. So this piece moves down too. See how the whole entire line moves? The gap that was there shifts down. And then these pieces come in like that. And this piece is the one I believe I shifted down, so this piece will come off. The only one that can. Well, let me do the following. Let me open up the chest. And let me go into the chest. And let me pull out a red pawn. Just to mark what piece is the one sliding. Player 8. Not necessary, but we had it, so I anyway, I did that. Now white goes. So we'll have the white. I go. White's going to go ahead and try to shift something down to capture more. And White is probably going to want to shift down. You know what White will do? White will do this. What it was, you're going to play this way until the game's over. Until the game over, and then you look at whoever has the most pieces on the board wins. In the event of a tie, the player 
if a player doesn't have a legal move, the other player will end up going after they go and see if they have a legal move. If they have a legal move, they win the game. So there's a stalemating if they don't both don't have a legal move. And the game ends in a draw. So do the following. I had white, black. White goes again. I'm gonna try to set up so we have a multi sided bookend here. Got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to... You know, I'm just going to play this a bit here. These will all shift down to... Two. Okay, this is the piece that I'm moving. I'll put the piece in the space there. And this wraps around. I have to decide which one I want to take out to puncture a hole in it. And... I will take that one off. Note he captures that way. Now black will go. Oh, black goes. I meant to take the pawn off. So the black side goes. Let me do the following. I'll put the black pieces captured here and the white pieces captured here. Just so. Now the black side goes. So. Black side is seeing he has a line, which might prove to be a problem. Shift this down. So you're shifting two to there. These two. So like that. This and the piece that's moving is the one currently in this space. So he has one capture, which is this. Now, that was black move. Now white will go. White will now shift these up to, to here. That piece will go from there to there. These two go up one. Wraps around. Actually, there was a gap, sorry. There was a gap, I believe, like that there. Probably should go this other way. These will come in. One, two, three. He's going to come around that way, so this goes down. One, two, three. He's down here. This is like this. And now I'm going to show you a line of capture. You see what happened was? These three now come off the board. They're captured because they're bookended. Now black is going to have less options. So now black will see what black's going to do. And black will decide to do. Black will do that. Moves up. Two. Um, back up. Um, made a mistake there. We have that there like that. These two will come back from behind. Actually, the position looks identical to what I had prior. So this piece will shift up to here. That. Yep. These pieces come in from behind like that. I then capture this piece that's taken off. White's gonna go. What, what white can do here. Good question. What does white do to be able to make an impact? Anyhow, it's going to go across like this, back and forth. 
until, as I said, one person, if a person doesn't have a legal move where they can't slide one other piece to a space and then capture perpendicular, 90 degrees to the way it's sliding, by that bookending method, the game will end, and you count up whoever has the most amount of pieces off the board. And in an event that ties, then you look to see if the other player, who didn't make a move, has one legal move. If that's the case, they go ahead and make that legal move. They're going to get that additional capture and do it otherwise. It ends in a draw. So anyhow, this is Revis here. And that's pretty much it. I do want to thank you for watching here. Feel free to check out the game. In the description link below, we'll have a link to the entry on Board Game Geek and be able to download the rules. So that's it. I do want to thank you for watching. May your die always roll five. And remember, don't hate the player. Change the game.